hi guys welcome back to another video so as you can see that's not me in the chair this time say hello to my sister my big sis so i'm just gonna be doing a closure weave on her so i'm gonna be using this solo express remy hair and just this closure from the local beauty supply store so i'm starting out by just parting her hair down the center i think i'm gonna be doing some straight back braids um her hair she has a looser curl pattern so braiding her hair i started out just using well the hair in her scalp and yes grip game kind of tight is here holding the roots a little bit <laughs> just strokes but because her hair is of a looser curl pattern i went ahead and i used this conicolon pre-stretch conicolon hair and just use it to feed in do some feed in straight back braids that just kind of added a little more anchor in her hair helped to protect her hair and made it a little bit like you know stronger for the sewing so looking back um on this video i don't think i would use this braid pattern again i think i would definitely do a center part with two going to the side and the rest of them going back but it's my first time doing a sewing on someone else so practice makes perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and use these oils on her scalp because you know say when i want to flakes no dry scalp brown here so just oiling up her scalp a bit and let's get into the meat of the matter so I'm gonna take those back pieces that she has and I'm just gonna stitch them up because I want the base to be as flat as possible and her hair is pretty long so I just tried my best to stitch them down back in between her braids onto her scalp as much as as best as i could like any professional braider out there don't fault me this is my first time doing a sewing on someone else so that's how it ended up looking and now we're gonna start out with the closure and this elastic band i got from the local beauty supply store so what i did i stitched down the elastic band to the sides of the closure to me this helps the closure to kind of like lay a little bit flatter especially if you're not really like a glue person if you want to kind of have that glueless look so i'm just gonna show you guys how i stitched it down onto one side i really didn't do any fancy stitching i kind of just knot the thread like you regularly would and i just stitched it into the lace kind of off to the side and i did like mm, measure the length how long i want it to be onto the side of her head but i didn't really do any fancy stitching but i didn't do it like tight where i would pull and tear the lace because you know if you tear the lace you destroy the closure so that's basically it so now that i finished sewing i just kind of gauge you know it's gonna look just kind of pulling it down to where i want it to stop because i'm gonna sew down that elastic band onto her braids as well because like i said earlier it's kind of gonna stretch the closure and help it to lay flat because this is gonna be like a glueless lace closure weave so after i measured it i just showed you guys how long it is i'm just taking a little bit of the got to be glue and brushing back her edges at the top where the closure is gonna lay just a little bit so right here i'm just getting some powder like her skin tone powder and i started out by just dusting it onto like where the knots were but then i realized because i didn't bleach knots or anything because i'm gonna have no time for all of that honestly i did take some liquid concealer that was her complexion as well and i just tapped it lightly onto the lace not a lot because with the liquid concealer it does get kind of cakey and it can look kind of mucky but just a light tap all right so here i'm gonna start sewing down the closure i personally like to sew down my closure frontal whatever first so i can just do the rest of the re weave <laughs> around the you know wherever the closure didn't hit i don't know it just works for me so as i said i would definitely use a different braid pattern kind of where you have like one like anchor braid or two going down to the side i don't know why i didn't do it for this like because when i used to do quick weaves and stuff on myself i used to like always do that type of anchor braid i don't know i guess i was just trying something new and seeing what worked with this hair thing i always tell people here is just trial and error you try something new if it works it works great if it doesn't it's okay you move on and you try again so i'm just going around the perimeter of the lace closure just simple stitching nothing crazy not going too tight until i'm done All 
all right so now that i finished stitching down the closure i'm gonna go ahead and stitch down the elastic band so i found that this really and truly did help this is what most people use when they're doing like glueless wigs or just glueless frontals or, or anything like that and my sis she didn't really want to deal with like that glue business so i tried my best so i stitched this down onto the braids and you can see why i said having two braids going down to the side instead of straight back would have been much better or much more practical or easier than doing it like this it just would lay so much better and then i didn't with this type of braid pattern i didn't want to put the elastic band too far on our edges because i didn't want it to rub on our edges and destroy them or anything so definitely i would go in with a different braid pattern okay so for the first track when i'm doing my first track i just stitch through the weft i put the needle through the weft i'm sorry this is just like a terrible terrible far angle i didn't get to show you guys but i have another video of how i do my sewing on myself i'll definitely link it um up for up top in one of the cards so i probably have a better demonstration there but after i put it through that first wave i kind of just sew under the web so i don't really go through and i just stitch there's no fancy stitching that i do i just stitch and then for each of the webs i don't cut the webs i kind of just loop it i think this prevents well not prevents but kind of minimizes shedding a little bit so they say and it just i don't know preserves the hair a little bit longer so you don't have it in bits and pieces I know when some people are stitching they like to like maybe go th under the whiff and then not under the whiff and not but let me tell you something i'm gonna have time you know i never have time for sun up and do all of that so <laughs> we were just trying to get this look done and i know some people like to use wig caps they can use weaving nets but it honestly i've done a sewing on myself and it didn't make a difference so i'm just showing you guys here how i loop the weft and just continue the stitch into the second third next row so we're um we're basically almost done so i'm just brushing it just to see how it lies okay one benefit of the weaving net it can add extra space to sew the hair in case you don't have enough braids or corner just an fyi that i can say So right here i'm just gonna go ahead and close the space between the closure and the weave so through the first i'm gonna go through the weft just to help to anchor it in case i should comb in her hair brushing it or anything it doesn't like snap it out too easily and then just continue sewing around the closure so now that i'm done sewing all the webs in i'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair starting from the bottom up and then i'm gonna be using the chase method that's a cantu heat protectant spray don't come for me guys cantu that's what i had that's what i use and i'm just gonna use that comb chase method is that is that what they say but my not really like a comb chase i'm using a brush but comb chase method all right so since this is a glueless you know weak closure weave i'm gonna be using my got to be glue freezing spray um i find that this has good hold for people who don't really want to mess with the glue and you know you still want to maybe you know rinse it off a little easier or something so i just held down the closure and i sprayed the freezing spray along the closure right at where the hair is i'm gonna grab my molding wrap i can never be without my molding wrap and just hold it down so then i had uh, i kept the molding not wrap on for a few minutes and then when i took it off i just kind of cut the lace along where it stuck onto her skin then i'm gonna grab some more of the freezing spray and spray it more like spray more of it on if you have like pump it up spray that's probably even better i know that works pretty well then i'm gonna go in with the molding wrap again 
to hold it down then i'm gonna grab my blow dryer and just blow dry let me tell you blow dryer and your freezing spray you're good to go I'm just using a little LA Girl concealer here on the part just to make it a little bit, little bit more like blendable just a little bit not too much can remember that it can get cakey then I'm gonna remove the molding wrap So I'm just taking out a little bit of hair at the front to create well like baby hairs they don't have to do this part if you don't want to but it's just to kind of camouflage the lace just a little bit so I took out some long pieces and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get grab my mousse get some scissors I'm gonna mousse them down because I think with the mousse it helps it to like lay a little bit smoother yeah, I find it lays a little bit smoother than just a gel. I mean, it's up to you really. So I just kind of molded it the way I want. This just feels kind of weird doing it on someone else because I'm so used to like doing that kind of suiting on myself. So I don't know. Like, I don't know if it lean up or tangle up but yeah i just gonna go ahead and like mousse the top of her hair as well and then i know i added i used some wax on the top just to help with any flyaways as well i didn't have a wax stick but i did have maurice beeswax so i don't know if that really is the same thing and just use a flat iron to kind of hold it down a little bit I didn't like how it looked just straight so went ahead and added some jumbo flexi rods and then she's gonna leave those in overnight so I did about maybe just like six simple flexi rod and then she went to sleep with them all right everyone so it's the next morning and we are done this was my first time doing a sewing on someone else like don't come for me it's not perfect but i tried love you sis thanks for letting me play a role in your head being my personal mannequin truly love you and appreciate you all right people thanks so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and follow me on all socials at underscore underscore Lindsay Beth, and follow my sis too on all socials at creamed sugared honey all right thanks guys so much for watching like you can't tell her she's not feeling herself still like come on no come on no can't but i know <laughs> like she was just cracking up i not even know oh i made it a boost i know all right guys thanks so much and i'll catch you in the next one till next time bye guys mm -hmm.